We put together nine stations, spread them throughout the library, and set our students to learning. In Create a Graph Live, students submitted their favorite ice cream flavors for a circle graph and measured their foot size in centimeters, adding to a collective histogram. Graphing Dominoes asked students to match data sets to graphs, lining them up domino style and offering an opportunity to check their work and reflect. Choose the interval offers data sets for which students must select the appropriate graphing interval. At Is It a Hypothesis, students sort statements into categories, deciding whether or not each one fits the criteria for a hypothesis statement. <laughs> Label the parts gives students scenarios. They then must identify the independent variable, the dependent variable, and the constants for each scenario. Match the variables provides students with cards. They must sort first into pairs and then decide which of each pair is the independent variable and which is the dependent variable. Oh, 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 nailed it. Oh, no. How much? How much range balls have? In Explain a Graph, students look at a graph and then describe verbally to a partner what that graph is showing using appropriate graphing vocabulary. Find the mistake presents students with graphing errors which they must identify. Is it testable? Ask students to decide if a question is reasonably testable in a lab setting. We modified boot camp so that we could include our ESOL-focused science students as well.